was a noble mind as here on throne. The courtiers, the soldiers, the scholars, I tongue sword. <laughs> Expectancy and rose of the fair state, the glass of fashion and the mould of form, the observed of all observers. <laughs> Quite, quite down. I, the lady's most deject and wretched, had sucked the honey of his music vows. Now see that noble and most sovereign reason like sweet bells jangled out of tune and harsh. On an unmatched form, in the feature of blown youth blasted with ecstasy. Oh, woe is me. Have seen what I have seen, and see what I see. <laughs> he was 25, he was my boss. I mean, even then he was overweight and balding, but he was so confident, so self assured, so, so solvent. Marry me, and you'll never have to work again. I was 19, going on 20, and working in a call centre. Seemed like a good offer. I mean, he was charming at first, you know. We married within a year. All too soon, I realised. Marry me and you'll never have to work again meant I'll take away any independence that you may think you have. Be my wife meant I will do my best to isolate you from anyone you ever loved or cared for. We will live happily together, translated into... You will look after my every need, no matter how sordid. What is it they say, Tara? Marry for money and you'll earn every penny. Must be you then. <laughs> Addy, there's far more money on here than just a simple experiment gone wrong. Well, how do you suddenly know all this? It's here. Erebus and molecular structure. He's not just been infected with some basic venom. He has been exposed to the building blocks of another universe. Oh, that must, have been, that must have been the weak spot on the terror. Then why haven't we all suffered the same? Well, I don't know. But I get the distinct impression that this lot had a rough idea what they were looking for. So, Dr. Marsden. Doctor. Pa! Oh, come on, Doctor. Who is she? Oh. Addy. Time and a place. You embarrassed me. Look, I'll, I'll speak to finance tomorrow. Yeah, you do that. Next time, get them to tell you. You're supposed to be the manager of that hotel. It's a clerical mistake. Just don't let it happen again. Feet. Remember what the councillor said. Don't. If you're not going to work at this relationship, then neither am I. Do you know, I would be as well being married to a lamppost. Don't be like that. Hush, little Pelly, lay down to nap. We're gonna make you a Scotland cap. All Scottish heart and samba skill. Cause mommy's from Dundee and daddy's from Brazil. That's the main reason I did the deed To help my national team succeed <laughs> And when you bring the trophy home with you Mummy's gonna shower you in iron brew Dylan, what are you doing in there? What are you doing in there? Speak to me. I'm not going to hurt you. Love you, remember. Dylan! Speak to me, goddammit!